Hello, I'm Mahin, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Bangalore. Today, I'll discuss different scenarios that might cause a 403 access denied or forbidden error when you're trying to upload files to your Amazon Simple Storage service bucket from the S3 console. I'll also discuss troubleshooting steps that can resolve these scenarios. Let's get started. For a request to be allowed on a S3 bucket, that request must match an explicit allow statement. There also, there must be no explicit deny statement for the AWS IAM user or role that's performing the uploads. First, let's check the required permission on the IAM entity. It's possible that the IAM role or the user that's used to upload the files to S3 is missing the S3 put object permission that's required for this operation. Additionally, if you are adding or modifying the object ACL while uploading the object, then the S3 put object ACL permission is also required. To check this, go to the IAM console and navigate to the user or role that you are using for the upload Now, check the IAM policy that you see to confirm that the S3 put object and S3 put object ACL permissions are present in the IAM policy that attached to your respective IAM entity. The same set of permissions can also be explicitly added to the bucket policy. You must add this permission to either IAM role or S3 bucket policy. Next, if your bucket has default encryption enabled with AWS Key Management Service or KMS or if you are uploading objects that are KMS encrypted by specifying the object level encryption, then you must have KMS permissions for the uploads to be successful. The minimum permissions required for the encrypted upload is KMS decrypt and KMS generate data key. If you are using an AWS managed KMS key for encryption, then all you need to check is that the IAM policy of the user or role has KMS decrypt and KMS generate data key permissions. You can check this from the IAM console. If you're using a customer managed key in the KMS, then first you must check whether there is an allow for the required permissions for the AWS account root user. This permission is there by default. So you only need to add the two required permissions, KMS decrypt and KMS generate data key in the IAM policy or you can add the required permission directly to the KMS key policy for the specific IAM user or role. You don't need any additional permissions when using default S3 encryption. Now we'll check to see whether there is an explicit deny for the S3 put object permission on the S3 bucket policy. Note, however, that it's a best practice to test the explicit denial on a test bucket so that you don't lock yourself out from the bucket. Undoing that situation requires root user level access to the bucket. 
This example S3 bucket policy restricts upload access for all the user except if the KMS key of a specific account is passed in the upload request. Here any KMS key mentioned in the upload request must start with the ARN specified in the condition statement which is XAMZ server side encryption AWS KMS key ID of the bucket policy as shown in this example. Otherwise, the request will be denied. If you have default encryption enabled on the bucket and the KMS key that's configured in it belongs to the account specified in the bucket policy condition, then you don't have to specify the KMS key explicitly in the upload request. If you are using AWS organization service and you have enabled SCP policies for the account where the bucket is present, then you must check for an explicit denial in the SCP policy. These policies are applied by the management account on the child accounts. This means that to check this, you must log in from the management account using an IAM user or role that has required organization's access so that you can confirm whether there is a denial policy. If this example SCP policy is attached to any AWS account, then all S3 access for all users under an AWS account is denied, including the AWS root user account. Finally, if you are passing the public ACL in the upload request and up block public access settings are turned on, then S3 will deny the request. You must check and turn off the public block access settings for the echo. If you want to see more details on the ACLs which are passed with the upload request of the object, please check out the link given in the description of the video. And now you know how to troubleshoot a 403 access denied error or forbidden error when uploading files to S3 bucket from the S3 console. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS. <laughs>